Ever wonder how to protect your financial legacy? Today, we're diving deep into a topic that's important to anyone looking to safeguard their family's future. Wealth transfer using life insurance. This isn't just about having a plan. It's about strategically using life insurance as a tax efficient tool. Let's get started. I'm Gregory Rosdiba, the CEO of Dundas Life, which is a digital life insurance brokerage in Canada. We're dedicated to helping high net worth individuals with financial planning that involves more than just life insurance. From navigating the complexities of corporate taxation to offering insights on various financial milestones, we've helped thousands of Canadians in achieving their financial goals. To learn how we can support you, click the link in the description below. Now, life insurance is not just about providing a safety net. It presents a unique opportunity to maximize wealth transfer. Unlike many other assets, the death benefit from a life insurance policy is generally not subject to tax. With proper planning, it can also help you avoid hefty estate taxes, allowing more of your wealth to reach your beneficiaries, primarily the younger generation. Estate planning is a crucial part of this process. If you pass away with debt, your estate is responsible for paying it off potentially impacting the gifts or objects you leave behind. Similarly, your estate is responsible for paying capital gains on any property that's been passed down, excluding your primary residence. With life insurance, you can minimize those debts and maximize the gifts left to your loved ones. If you have dependent children, life insurance becomes even more important. It provides financial protection in case of your unexpected passing. By making a will and designating a guardian, you provide an additional layer of security for your children's future. But what happens if you're unable to make decisions due to an illness or injury? This is where power of attorney becomes valuable. By appointing a trusted individual to manage your property, finances, personal life, and medical care, you can rest assured that your affairs will be handled responsibly. Additionally, for high net worth clients, life insurance is an effective tool for leveraging gift tax exemptions into much higher death benefits that can be received from a life insurance policy. By using an irrevocable life insurance trust to own the policy, the death benefit can be kept outside of your taxable estate. The irrevocable trust is set up in such a way that when you pass, the life insurance that you own now will transfer automatically to your kids or to your grandkids. This allows for a tax-free ownership transfer. If you want, you can also transfer the life insurance policy to your child or grandchild while you're still alive so they can access the policy's cash value. One of the key benefits of using an irrevocable trust is that it allows for a great deal of flexibility. The trustee can be given broad discretion over when to distribute assets to the beneficiary or even how to allocate assets among multiple beneficiaries. Your spouse may be included as a discretionary beneficiary of the trust so that if they need to access the assets, those assets can be available. But if your spouse doesn't need the assets, they can still be sheltered from paying estate tax. With the trust, you as the policy holder pay the premiums and upon your passing, your heirs receive the death benefit amount. This is the leverage that life insurance provides. Moreover, life insurance death benefits are generally tax-free, allowing that much larger death benefit to be received without being reduced by income taxes. Now, let's explore an effective strategy known as waterfall of wealth. This approach involves using a tax-exempt life insurance policy to grow your wealth and transfer it to the next generation in a tax-effective way. Here's how it works. You start by depositing a certain amount into the life insurance policy each month. The excess funds go into a balanced fund offered by the insurance company. When you pass away, the policy you own automatically transfers to your children or grandchildren and there's generally a tax deferred rollover rule. What's important about the strategy is that the cash value growth inside the policy is tax advantaged. Unlike other investments that can be subject to income tax or capital gains, your wealth accumulates in a tax efficient manner. One of the unique aspects is that the child who receives the policy doesn't have to be the same person as the child who's insured under the policy. For example, 
you as a grandparent can buy a policy on your grandchild and then transfer the ownership to your child, their parent, on a tax deferred basis. This allows for a flexible and efficient way to pass on wealth to the next generation. But what if you want to do this for someone who's not directly your child, such as a niece or a nephew? You still can, but not in the exact same way. You can do it using a trust. As long as you make sure the trust is properly set up, you can use the strategy to benefit other family members as well. The waterfall of wealth strategy is not just about passing on wealth, but also about passing on financial knowledge and responsibility. Ideally, you're passing on more than just money here, and you've taught your kids how the strategy works. You want to teach them the importance of keeping this waterfall going so you can educate them on the importance of using the death benefit from the insurance payout to buy insurance for future generations, thereby continuing to pass down wealth in the family. The strategy benefits each generation involved. For you, the parent or grandparent, you get to keep control of the life insurance policy and can reduce your tax bill on some of the other investments by redirecting them in a tax advantage insurance policy. For the kids and for future generations, when the ownership transfer happens, they get permanent insurance for their family and they can access the cash value to pay for things like education or house or real estate, for example. Let's now take a look at a real life example to understand the benefits. Imagine a retired grandparent using this strategy for their five-year-old grandson. They deposit $250 a month into the policy, and when the grandson turns 18, the policy transfers to him. The grandson continues depositing $250 per month until the age of 65, making several withdrawals along the way for various expenses. Even after all the withdrawals, there's still enough cash value in the policy to keep it in force until the grandson's life expectancy at around age 82. At that point, the beneficiary will still receive, say, $500,000 when he passes away. Life insurance and wealth transfer go hand in hand, reducing future stress for your loved ones. By having a strategy in place, you make the process of probating a will easier and wrapping up your affairs less burdensome. It also minimizes the potential for disputes over your will, ensuring your wishes are respected. Now, we've covered a lot of information today on how you can use life insurance to transfer wealth. If you're looking for expert advice on life insurance and estate planning, don't hesitate to reach out to us at Dundas Life. Book a call by clicking on the link below in the description. And remember, regularly reviewing your insurance policies and estate plan ensures they reflect your current wishes and life situation. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content on life insurance and estate planning.